Hello, everyone. It's Wednesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Mariam Longe! Hi. Uh, you're opposite me today. Yes. What happened? I like you. Every time I come here, it's always a surprise to Morris. I'm like, hi! <laughs> <laughs> like, I see you. Yeah, yeah. So I, was, I, I love to surprise you like that. Yeah. I'm good. Yesterday, I was playing with my daughter, and I realized she does not know what Ten Ten is. Mm. Oh. Oh. They don't know it. So what are they playing? <laughs> what sort of games tabs. are children? What? Tabs. They play on the... No, but they, they play they're outside. They're playing Roblox. They're playing... Yes, that's... Uh, but when they're outside in school, in the playground, what are they playing? Swing. Yeah. Uh, no, right. we had swings then. I just felt... Uh, I just felt that, no, I We're have to make sure that I teach her. We started yesterday. She didn't get it, but... I'm good to make sure no, that she yeah, learned it. And, and I was you. so good so we'll when I was... Because I was good at it. Nobody beat me. Me too. Beat me Nobody beat me. So I'm like, ah, I should we'll pass we'll play it on. so they catch it. Yes. That's we'll play we'll it so that they can see. <laughs> I wasn't really good did at you? it. Wait, wait, wait. I did it. I played it, of course. Oh, okay. I did it. Are you out? Of course I did it. Because as an American child, you don't know what she wants. I did. I went to Corona now. We played Tete. Okay. I did it. I'm good. I didn't really do that either, so... Did you play Tete? Not really. Oh, I did. I barely did. It's better than talking to me. Um, somebody called me this morning, literally, woke, <laughs> his, his call woke me up and he wanted me to help give voice to the challenges that they are facing, coming back at night between um, Uroshoki and Ogudu, mm. that usually they rob, but when you wind up, like you know that you're, 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 you're wound up, it's, they won't disturb you, but now they break mm. down your window to take your gadget. He said even he used to think that you have to use your phone to be to expose yourself, but that in this case, he's heard it and it's happened to him on Monday. He used to be a staff of TVC, actually, that he now, he, he works on the island now, and he said, I should please announce to our security. He reported it to the police. The police are right in front within that same area, but they told him he needs to, he should follow them to the station and then they'll get a vehicle. He said, just walk back. You see them, they are wearing just boxers. These are young boys wearing just boxers right. and they are robbing <clears throat> cars to cars. Right. Breaking down the side, um, please. Yeah. Let's security. Let's have it more security presence in that location yeah. between Ogudu, um, oh. and Ogudu. Please, thank you. How are you doing, Nima? I'm very well. Um, I discovered my children have a new game. Oh, okay. So there's something called the. Um, it was like the Squid Game. After prayers yesterday evening, or after Maghrib prayers, I saw uh, Gufran said something, and then. Her brother was facing the wall. And then <laughs> she's he's supposed to turn back. If he catches her, the game is over or something. Okay. He's supposed to walk as fast enough to touch him before he turns back. And I was like, ah, this game that you have started, it looks like the squid game. And I know this should, I have not seen that movie. My children. So there's green lights, red lights. I have yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they that do all of that. So there are certain of new games just because you yeah. spoke about yeah. it yeah. now. I well, the squid that. games but were based on regular children's, children's games, games. Yeah. in yeah. that yeah. Uh, country. You know, I used to do kids' games. I mean, I used to do yeah. children's parties. Yeah. Like, I mean, that was one of my pastimes. And, and I was so good at it, extremely good at it. The kids used to yes. love have so much fun. 10 year old birthday parties, I'm like the auntie yeah. that does all the games. <laughs> and I used to have so much fun, you know? I wanted to beg the Lagos State because I don't know why that building is still burning. This morning, I mentioned yesterday. I, I would have wow. taken a risk it's to make a video today. this morning. Still burning within the building. You can see fire like this. I wanted to go and make a video this morning, but the boys, they, yeah, they yeah. are bigger than me, so I just <laughs> JJJ be going. But please, to the authorities, please, please, it shouldn't continue burning. I, I feel that it's either what is burning that is not dying after how many days is not normal. Please, Something they should look into. On. Somebody should investigate it. Let it not even be a cover up for a crime. So I'm How so proud that my, my, my daughter understands Yoruba so well. Oh. Like, I mean, I'm just making sure. Bonus she... of having mama at home. No, 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 not even that. They speak, they speak Ikere or they speak Izikiti. Uh. But I mean, the fact that we have people that speak Yoruba in the house. So I mean, we also speak Yoruba in the house. So the fact that you oh, say something and she just understands. <laughs> oh. She laughs and she smiles. She I'm like, ah, I'm not going to dance. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm jealous. It just makes me feel good that, okay. So as she understands, very soon she starts she speaking. Starts speaking. So oh. I don't feel so bad. Yeah. You have such an yeah. <laughs> This thing is not easy at all. It's not easy. We're saying you have a mixed um, parent. Maybe yeah. one is Yoruba, one is from a family. It's always very difficult. But Ma, me and Maya are the one that can understand Ma, right now. Well, let me not call me, you me out. I should, I should <laughs> cover my face. Even, does it both of you are from the same both place. Both of us, and, uh, but I need my mom to stay in to improve it. Because the period she spent with me, there was serious improvement. Mm. Mm. No. Okay, I have to run. But don't, 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 I mean, don't take anyway. it for don't granted. For you. Don't say anything uh, in your rabbit name, my chin knows. They know why she understands. Let's go on a break. When we come back, I'm going to go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, let's start with uh, the nation. Soludo is governor-elect. Proposed revenue sharing formula pits federal government against states. Direct primary governor's national assembly clash. Government proposes death penalty for illegal gold miners. Seven policemen, Air Force chief grandson killed. Worry in France for peace forum. And crude oil production drops to 1.52 um, barrels per day. Yeah. Okay. Major headline. Major headline. So, Professor Chukuma Soludo has been declared governor-elect Anambra State. <laughs> he won 112,229 votes. I thought the numbers generally were quite small, but, mm. you know, he won but that. And he gave them gap. Oh, gave gap, gap well. Wide, wide, wide gap. Wide, wide gap. Wide. So, um, we know he was former CBN governor. Mm -hmm. And um, I next said, having um, satisfied all the requirements that needed to be sat um, satisfied, he has been declared um, governor-elect. Um, governor he also made a speech. First of all, it, he said 18 parties actually participated in this election. So, um, well done um, to governor-elect um, Professor Chukuma Soludo. He also gave a speech where he says for him that his journey has been sort of a divine journey, um, whose time has come. And he extended a hand of fellowship to all his oh, other oh, opponents and says, you know, there's room for contributions from everyone. He also um, remembered those who had lost their lives in the course of the elections, especially the three policemen who were shot by unknown gunmen. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, very um, help, healthy speech, right, you right, know, that he right. made. So congratulations. Well, we're really, really optimistic. I mean, I'm happy Anambra's that it is. seems like the people of Anambra's voice have been, have been heard. Mm -hmm. And they've gotten the, the, the governor they want. This is a landslide. You can't even... You can't I was even almost... I almost gave up. I was scared because of the courts. It was back to back yeah. in court for this. I was saying to some of my evil friends from Anambra that I don't understand you people. This should be a gift. You should, you people should just you know, <laughs> lie, the, lie well, just give him the governorship right. seat. Mm -hmm. Because when you have people that have potential to change the narrative of your people, that's the people you should have in office. Well, so well, I'm just more more quickly excited. add. You know, this also helps oh. to you know quell some of this talks mm -hmm. yeah. where they're saying some people will rig it, mm -hmm. some people, it just yeah. shows that if you vote, vote uh, your it will show. Okay, let's take it. Yeah, yeah let's take the story of um, <clears throat> mining. So the, there's il the Minister of State for Mines and Steel Development, Dr. Uche Chuku Oga, he spoke while defending the 2022 budget with the, with the Senate Committee, Solid Minerals, Mines, Steel Development, and he proposed that there would be 7.3 billion as the revenue that they would generate from that ministry. Now, members of the committee said that the, <coughs> the, ministry, the, the potential for the mining, ministry, mining industry is much more than the figure he's saying, that Nigeria is losing about 100 billion on a yearly basis to illegal mining. And then the minister replied saying that there is required um, we, there's a re re requirement from our lawmakers to create a law that would give death penalty to illegal gold miners generally or anyone mining illegally. So it was a bit of back and forth, but they felt like the ministry isn't doing enough to protect the revenue, that, uh, the potential mm, revenue, right. and that if it is a policy thing, it should push for it legally. But I believe okay. that we have a lot of money that we can make from this uh, mining so, if right. we maximize it properly. Right. Okay, let's take so, one more story. Yes, the, the governors across parties from the APC as well as the PDP, are not happy with the direct primary provision in our Electoral Act amendment. They are mm. contesting this and asking that, you know, they, according to those from the APC, they call it a us usurpation of the functions of political parties, saying that the political parties should be left to decide what they, what, want. What they want. But I think the way to go is to legislate upon this, yeah. and I like that we have a direct primary provision. Exactly. But they're saying the, the National Assembly has done their job and they're saying they will leave that decision to whether exactly. to remove it or to leave it to the president when mm. he wants to accent to it. Okay, so our president is um, organizing the Nigeria International Partnership Forum in France. Yeah. And what is the objective of this forum? They said it will spotlight Nigeria's immense trade opportunities, mm. investment opportunities also, and reset false and distorted narratives about Nigeria shedding light on the efforts, the initiatives, and successes 
achieved in both public and private sectors. So they're pretty much, let's just say, like, they're cleaning up our image internationally and they're starting from France. Moving on now to the punch, governors run yes. to Buhari as senators reps to five parties transmit bill next week. Ogun teacher brutalizes three-year-old for inability to write. Oh. Government assassinate bedridden a retired NAF chief before wife in Kaduna. Oh. Kwasu lecturer arrested arranging receipt for female students in bedroom. Can you imagine? Virologist NMA <laughs> back Lagos 6,000 vaccination admin charge. Bandits gunned down seven policemen on patrol in Zamfara and burned the van. Anchor Borrow as farmers owe CBN 463 billionaire as default rise. And Fashola completed 4,000 houses, abandoned them, reps allege. Okay, which so, story? Okay, I have the human interest. Yes, please. That's of Quara and the child. So one Mrs. Elizabeth Iberi posted on Facebook about her child being abused by her teacher. Um, I would not want to take the name of the child or the name of the school. But the teacher's name is one Adio, um, okay, the name of the school, sorry, I don't want to take that. But she said that uh, her three-year-old daughter was beaten by her teacher and that the teacher had sent her a message because she couldn't take her call that, you know, your child was misbehaving and she's refusing to write, I'll just cane her. So she thought it was normal, just maybe a pat on the back or something. But when the child came home, she noticed cane marks <laughs> on the on leg, her legs. like he was... And, we're talking know, of a three-year-old. A three-year-old for refusing to write. And that this is a child who would normally write. So maybe just one of those days when a child would not be in the mood. She was so beaten. Finland. They don't start uh, schools like they're seven. Six, so, <laughs> yeah. six, seven. And they are doing well. They are children. They are three years old. What mm. is the so child even doing in school? What's he writing? In fact, what is the child doing what's in school? Writing? Yeah. So she be in crutch. But the school, she refused to uh, accommodate her complaints. And so she had to do a Facebook post. And that then... You know, got them calling attention. her at uh, the attention, and they I know they may say that. This. Well, we said to the mother that we're going to cane her. You should mm. not be caning any child at, at three, three. three. Years old. even if the child says, "I'm coming I'm to school to just sleep." Yeah, that child should if, be allowed to just sleep exactly, at three exactly. years old. Three In fact, old. parents should not give open-ended uh, permission to anybody at all no when you have your toddler with them. Yeah. Don't say uh, it's Let's okay move on to, to other stories. So, yeah. Quara yeah. State, okay, quickly. This lecturer of the Quara State University. Had lured a student. Fortunately, she complained to the Federation of Female Lawyers. Um, he had asked her that you know he wanted sex, and the poor girl had reported him. So they told her to play along with him. He invited her to his house somewhere in Kwara State, and in his room he was he gave her the school's um, question paper as well as the school's answer sheet. These are booklets that should be. I the eh? document, secret document, but he gave it to her in his own house and said to her, finish answering your question. I, uh, I threatened you not to, to have sex with her till daybreak. I don't want to use the term in Europe, but I, I pictured it in my head. <laughs> and so they, they were stationed waiting for him to just, you know, to start that. And when she had those question papers, he was, he was arrested. Hmm. He's been arrested. He's denying, not, pleading not guilty. And, you know, his what the, what I, happened? How, I don't how did she get the question? What? Did she threaten him? Really, really horrible. I want Let's, to see this to the end, though. Let's yes, speak so. one more story. Yes, one more story. Um, in Zamfara, another sad story. Uh, seven policemen have been killed um, on patrol duty on um, Monday at around 6 p.m. They had all gone out, you know, on a patrol mission in their van and they were ambushed by this bandits. There was a shootout between them and the bandits. Unfortunately, seven of the policemen were killed. Their bodies were taken to the hospital. As of the time of this report, there hasn't been any um, um, information from the police command. You know, this banditry that we're talking about is... Mm. We, we keep saying we should have a name for them. Yes. But it's banditry in the north, it's unknown government in the east, it's terrorism, it's, it's exactly. just so scary that constantly, no matter what name that we give it, yeah. uh, security operatives are, you know, falling, you know, to their death in mm. fighting. Okay. This is CBN. Oh, yes. an Ambra state that mm, happened. Really sad. I want to quickly tell the story of the CBN. Um, one of the policies that this current administration is very proud of is the Anchor Bora program, which has paid over 788 billion naira since its inception in November 2015 to about <coughs> 4 million farmers. The priorities for the anchor borrower is to those that are farming rice, maize, corn, um, wheat, which are like the top three consumables within Nigeria, and then other things where other farmers were also beneficiaries. As of March 20, uh, 2021, 463 billion is still being owed. Only 128 billion has been paid. 
major issue the farmer complained about is that they don't have, there's no security. Um, bandits have attacked their farms, headers have attacked their farms, and so the funds that was provided to help them to um, farm is no longer, is not able to generate, they can't generate the re results. So CBN is saying the best way to say a program worked is if we gave the loan and we yeah, got our money back. Exactly. So if we give the loan and we don't get our money back, it is not yeah. successful. And I think also as much as, yeah, those are some reasons. But you see, there's also the irresponsibility on the part of Nigerians, we mm. the people. So the government is saying, I've given you Ankos Bora program, I'm loaning you this money, mm. do what you're supposed to do and refund I mean, so others can benefit. But no, we're thinking about this. It's our national cake. Yeah. Take the money and use it and sell the money. Mm. Because what this program actually does is that they bring, they, they, they contact the um, the users of these raw, raw materials, the maize, the corn, and all that. Mm. These major um, cereal companies, and they don't, they tell, they stop them from importing yes. those products into Nigeria. Say, use these far, local people. farmers, mm. buy from them, so you can mm. get money. So you get some money from these guys. Why are you not paying back to the government? Exactly. It's really, really irresponsible. Mm. Really so we, we, we cannot just. I'm just saying there are different, there are different factors. Mm -hmm. but it's not, it's because there's For flood. One of them flood is a natural factor. Flood is a natural factor. There's a 360. The major one is insecurity in the farms. The farmers are made to pay. Uh, dues and duties to bad Yes, it's one and of so it, but it's not all of it. Some of them are still irresponsible. We must admit but that. But I had a good story of one supported by Lagos State yesterday at the at the Bureau Hall, and she said that they gave them the stoners everything, and she saw that our father is at such all right, a price. I have to run. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with the review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story.
How we're doing, guys, is the makeup in progress. Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All team in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights up. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All team in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights up. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, I was going to take another story, but I think we're moving on. Um, Daily Sun. Senate indicts ABFCC, AGF, and police. A number of fierce gun battle precedes victory dance. Murder of Super TV boss J.D. Mastra adjourned to November 11th. Wari vows to end an all $2 billion wheat importation. 2023, Imams orders lobby for Middle Belt presidency. 20 billion naira bailout funds. Kogi Assembly threatens warrants of arrest against Bank MD. National Assembly PDP clash uh, over direct primaries. And IPOP declares it at home as, as Kanu appears in court today. Okay, Mariam, which story would you like to start with? Or? Go okay, so I took all the stories. I was actually going to take the story. <laughs> Go ahead. So the, the, sorry, the um, murdered um, Atagas um, case, that man that was murdered by supposedly, allegedly by, her, allegedly allegedly by her. So yesterday, the matter came up before the courts. And one of the defense counsel's um, application to the court was that the evidences provided by the prosecutor from the state was not clear. They had um, inaudible audio and the um, video was not clear. So he couldn't prepare his defense. This is not one of those kind of things that we should be hearing. This is, was supposedly, at the time when he broke, a neat case. But because of time, you will now be seeing mm. that you know uh, prosecution will be failing at certain areas. Right. So they should please advance then the important and very clear evidence. Right. Let's find an end to this, follow it through. All right. Talk so, kidnapping that took place in follow up to the kidnapping that took place, kidnappings that were taking place in Ekiti State. They've caught some people, and revelation came out about how one one of the kidnappers said he made 1.4 million naira from three kidnapping, and another one, the one that made the Headline: mm -hmm. The real story is that if organizer um, um, mentioned how he was the one, is if organizer is he, he was if brought organizer. in, <laughs> and he was the one identifying prime suspects for them, people they can kidnap. On wow. one case, he got five hundred and fifty thousand naira because he identified a couple. The couple got kidnapped, and he got paid five fifty. He identified a Mrs. Or, um, um, another woman that the woman is a prime suspect and got paid 100000 for that kidnapping. So like, are these people that stopped to use him and then he finds he a way to put something in their tire, no, they slow down? It, it could be any... They didn't say how he did it, but he, was the one, he identified the couple and they mm -hmm. got kidnapped. So it's, it goes to the really people. We are the ones. They, they cannot... People outside cannot kidnap if somebody inside isn't yeah. feeding them information. Mm -hmm. So yeah. these things are not from strangers or evil people outside. It is us Nigerians victimizing and being wicked to another... Mm -hmm. Fellow Nigerian. Right, the story that caught my attention: the uh, our reps were uh, were querying the Ministry of um, mm. Housing and um, that um, they completed 4,000 buildings, houses, and abandoned them. And uh, the story was just saying that the Ministry of uh, Works must also try to sell out those buildings. But I then remember that house. They, they said that for for, for the federal for federal government to build houses, 
This government gives them the land. The states are the owners of the land. We've been told mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. States own land. The federal government doesn't own any land. So if state is giving you land to build and you build, who's supposed to sell the land, sell, sell the houses? Is it the federal government or is it the state? That's, that's why I'm confused because the reps are saying the that federal the federal government, government is federal not the one selling. You build house, you sell house. It's the federal mm -hmm. government. Oh, really? I thought it was the state's housing. That exactly. Really it was the the handed it over to the state oh, okay. to build. That's what I thought. As it human. should be. Yeah. Let Go me announce, I make announcements for all the farmers that are looking for industries to move into. The government plans to ban wheat importation. Currently, Nigeria spends about $2 billion, hmm. um, dollars. $2 billion on wheat importation. And there is a process now to phase out wheat importation, which means any smart business person should start moving into that place. Um, the, um, speaking on behalf of the president, um, Governor Simon Lalong launched a new area called Wheat Seed Multiplication Farm in Kwali Basa Local Government of Plato State. And as much as the president is making this cam um, canvas for people to go into the farms, and actually for Plato State where there, there are internal crises that, are, that is leading to people losing their produce that they farm for, can we also ensure that we're putting money into security as well so that people don't put their money and then they lose their investment. All right. But this is a good place to go into. Vanguard and Ambright Saludo, mm -hmm. direct special investigation into whereabouts of missing Vanguard reporter, National Assembly tells IGP and others. Um, new wage deal for police under with this federal government. Earned allowances, Sanu, Nasu begin, three-day strike. Ikoyi building collapse, drama as relatives fight over recovered bodies at IDH. APC to hold convention soon kicks against forced direct primary option by National Assembly. An invasion of dust, all the least residents make investigation reports public, says Senate. Okay, which story are we taking? Third Milan mm -hmm. Bridge? Let's take the Ikoyi um, building. Go ahead. Okay, so, um, according to the Vanguard, yesterday there was a bit of confusion and almost like a fight at the IDH for where, where family members are trying to identify bodies recovered. According to them, that was um, stopped. They were able to stop that from happening. But somebody had identified the body. Another person then goes back and says, no, that, but that's my family member. It was a female body that was the cause of this argument. Hmm. And now they are, they've resolved to identifying bodies through DNA. So family members who came in from, you know, maybe because some people are from their villages, they have relatives in Lagos that are not close family members. The DNAs, of course, will be too far to be matched. So they are asking that only close family members come to drop their blood samples for this uh, matching of bodies so far recovered. Yeah. It's just, for me, traumatic to think of. Hey, so the Senate and the House of Reps yesterday has asked that or mandated the Inspector General of Police to look into the disappearance of the reporter of Vanguard, Mr. Salem. It's been three weeks since he went missing on wow. October 13. They said between 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., his phones just went off, and every form of communication with him since then has been um, on, it has not been possible. And so they're saying that this is someone that worked in the House of Reps, well known, always reported with no biases, and that up till now they have no concrete story as to what has happened to him. And they're asking police and other security operatives to hasten the investigation towards you know, what could have happened to. Okay. So the Minister for um, Police Affairs defending the budget for 2022 to the Joint National Assembly Committee on Police Affairs uh, mentioned the fact that there is a new salary package for all police officers and men in the police force saying that um, in response to the challenges of COVID-19, in response to the challenges that um, the police faced due to hashtag NSAS protests, the, that it has strained the officers and now they are hoping that there is, is he, he was commenting that the new package is receiving positive attention, but until we have the new package implemented, we cannot celebrate yet. But I know that many police officers will be happy to see uh, improvements in what their wages would yeah. be. <laughs> Final paper, Nigerian Tribune. Let's find a story we've not taken. Third Milan Bridge is safe and intact, says federal government. Osho Oshogbo is trying to get $127,000 U.S. grant. Excise duty, manufacturers to lose $1.9 trillion in three years. Roadside organizer gives information on potential victims and kidnapper um, reveals. <clears throat> Pastor Dukoya loses wife to cancer mm. 16 years after losing his first wife to plane mm. crash. An attempt to kidnap lawmaker fails as gunmen kill two, injure others in Kwaibon. Yes, yeah, sir. So the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria 
um, have said that um, the introduction of the excise duty would cause um, many people or many of the businesses within that sector to struggle. Um, he says that they would lose up to 1.9 trillion naira in revenue sales and of course the attendant impact on jobs, um, jobs and supply chain businesses. He says it will shrink the sector's contribution to uh, GDP. Government is likely to lose 197 billion naira in VAT because of this duty. On the other side, we have the Nigerian Customs um, Service. They're saying that for them, this is a welcome idea. It will trigger revenue rise and excise duty. It would also cushion the effect of COVID-19 and all that has happened, you know, in our economy and, you know, reduce the reliance on imports and oil um, duties mm. as well. So, mm. so quickly, uh, policies. The um, Director of Press and Public Relations of the Federal Ministry of Works, Mrs. Boadia Akinola, has responded to the my rumor going around that the third mainland bridge is not safe to drive mm. on. That is, is the, um, there was a video that said, showed yes, us that the bridge she's, she's responded that that's not true, that the bridge is very safe to drive on. Also, the, a, a, a non-profit agency, SIAC, some, some based in the U.S., has gotten 125,000 U.S. dollars grant to help us in the digital documentation and preservation and possible restoration of the oh, uh, Busoi groove in the Oshun Oshogo Shrine. So their job, of course, is to um, keep records of certain sites, mm. you know, as national and, artifacts. And, and, and artifacts. And so they're trying to also help train people who are maintainers of these sites. To, that that to list is well. huge. I'm right. right. looking at yeah, it. I've yeah, seen some white speaking and all of that based on that was social. Exactly. Board. There's so much focus on, on the shrine in Oshogo than from outside than from within. Local. Sorry to cut you off. Back to the road matter. What we saw was a video where a reporter was showing the bump. Mm -hmm. Now, in this person's response, did she address what we saw? Or she just told us, it is fine, go keep driving. That's what they wrote in the thing. It is because fine. Because Nigerians must understand that we need explanation. fixing that place No, no, just say, if I just see, if I year. see that, that the, the so bump, right? Explain to us what tell the bump me is. means that yeah. it means that this happens and that's why this happened, okay, but don't worry, it's safe. Don't just assume that it's safe, just drive. And I'm seeing that divide. Of course, I'm going to... She has called the comment described as unfounded and false. It wasn't that's what she's called. Oh, okay. It's a video. That's what she's it was a video. I wanted to say that she said the spot on report yes. said that it's not yes. true. Okay, um, so we'll there was on. a major loss yesterday to the to the family yeah, of has, Pastor Taiwo yeah. Dukoya and her heart goes out to yeah. Pastor yeah. Taiwo Dukoya, the entire yeah. fountain of life. And it is so sad. It is okay. really, yeah. really it sad. Is sad. We have to run, unfortunately. That's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. My name is Glory of God. I'm the weather. This is my workshop. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blasts, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. 
TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to... Thanks for staying with us. So a video went viral, uh, of, I think a couple of days ago, about a woman um, allegedly trying to discipline somebody else's child, maybe like a teenager. And obviously, there was a back and forth. The woman raised her hand, and the girl obviously... ...he responded by hitting the woman again. Hmm. Of course, this video went viral. And it raises the question, how do you discipline somebody else's child? Um, what right do we as parents have? to correct another person's child, uh, not just within Nigeria, especially outside Nigeria, when the cultures and um, way of life is different from ours. What are your thoughts on this? Some of you have probably seen these videos, others haven't, I'm not sure we can show it, but if we can, that'll be great. But if not, but the idea really is um, that how do you discipline someone else's child? You can call us on 0812705367, You can also send us messages on YouTube and Facebook, we'll be happy to read your messages. So this video went out and we all, everybody had different mixed feelings on, okay, what was right. We're first assuming that the young girl probably did something really bad because for a woman to raise her voice to her that way, we're assuming she probably did something bad. So if we, if we stay with that assumption, if a, if a teenager does something wrong to you outside, not your child, what's the appropriate way to carry it out? Do you think that woman's way of shouting at her, yelling at her in public, where everybody was looking at her, and then going ahead to raise a hand. Was that the appropriate behavior? Let me start with you, Mary. I don't think it was the appropriate behavior the way it ended. But I feel now I'm using the assumption that she may have been correcting her. I don't want to use discipline, because usually when we use discipline, we think that someone came, at least Nigerian context, <laughs> someone came with a cane to whip you. But this seemed like a woman had corrected a young lady in front of her and said something about that's not the way to act in public. And I don't see anything wrong with an older person telling a younger person whether the person is known to me or a stranger. That's not how to, young lady, that's not how to act in public. But I think it was the girl's response to her that degenerated, you know, into what almost became a phys physical fight. And um, I remember growing up, there were times where older people have said something to me and in a bit to defend myself, I had raised my voice and shown how upset I was. And my mom, and even though I was right, my mom says, well, 
what you have done has countered whatever exactly. rights you had in the first place because you do not talk to an adult this way. There's a way you can still tell me how this adult did the wrong thing. So for me, what I saw there was just so totally wrong on the young girl's side. Mm. Now there's also the part of Nigerian adults where we have this, uh, where, we're, where we think we're entitled to respect from everybody and anyone. So this is a new world that we need to navigate. It's okay to still be a Nigerian person and correct someone, but know that your correction may be looked at as overstepping your boundaries, but do your correction and move on. So mm -hmm. don't think that you now have to take the extra step to beat someone or raise your hand mm. at someone. And they, you know, the accents that were flying around, it looks like it was, you know, or in mm. Boland, where they will handcuff you even for shouting at your own child. Yeah. So I think that we need to understand that it is not, it is not our right, right to expect to be respected okay. back, but just do the right thing, correct the person and move right. on. Your, your initial thoughts on this topic when um, you saw the video? Um, different uh, angles to it. My first thought is, uh, have we lost what it means to have good manners. You know, good manners from the side of you as an adult and good manners from the child in mutual respect for from adult to child. I felt that the child, the, the girl was very rude and did not use good manners. And because we know it was a foreign land, it was obviously a foreign land, but the, the woman felt like you are a black person, you know, like you probably an African. Because I, 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 while in the U.S., I met a lady and she, I saw her name tag. I knew she was a Nigerian. So my response, my expectations of our conversation was different. I think that the, when, whenever we take our children to the Western world, we should not, we, we should understand that even the white people across all race, there's something called good manners. Good manners is respect for adults, opening the doors for someone. You don't shut, you don't slam the door back on the person behind you. You greet people. You know, you're polite. These are good manners regardless of culture. And we must still emphasize that good manners should be respected regardless. Now, the woman shouting is a typical Nigerian woman who feels like their own way of correcting you is to dominate you. And like, it's a, it's a dominant, yes, it's, they want to dominate you. We're already trying to address that. And I think that we should use this platform to also address that when you want to correct someone, it's not by you shouting the person down. If, you, if the person cowers down to you, does not mean you have achieved any positive change. They are just doing it in front of you. But in your back, she would come back and say all sorts of things. And if you really want to achieve correction, find a way to communicate, especially mm. when you're dealing with teenagers. But I feel there was lack of good manners on both sides. And we need to go back into developed worlds where they say, if you beat a child, you'll get arrested. The child is a child of the state. It's not your own child. We see the result of that. So parents need to take more ownership of and responsibility over the child they have and <laughs> raise them well. But I'll, I'll take your initial thoughts, Nino, because I know that the world uh, is also appreciating the fact that Africa is like that last frontier where there's some, there's some remnants of respectability for adults. It's that they, there's culture. still that culture of discipline amongst us. So yes, we, the new world gives that liberty to even a child. But people are coming to see that, okay, I think it would have been better if I can, if I can show respect. But Nima, in, the, in, in this situation, didn't that adult also act childish by raising her voice? Do you think... Is it, uh, she did. She, I, I saw the video and I felt she wasn't emotionally intelligent. I had... I still have several mothers. I call a lot of people mother because of the kind of mentoring that I had growing up from every home and every friend around. And you'd find strangers who are supposedly in your mother's age range wanting to correct you in public, comport themselves better. So she had the duty to be an example to that girl, no matter what that girl was doing there. And the language of correction wouldn't have been for her to raise her voice. She had thought to play to the gallery, raise her voice, gather, you know, pity party, same, same and place. see to portray the girl ah, as the home video that's way. The, that's why I say yes. To portray the girl as someone mannerless, let me call a crowd, that yeah. kind of thing. So, you know, Only. and uh, that's, at least that got the reciprocation that you saw. I felt the girl felt she would have seen as bullying and felt the need to want to talk back. So, this is a girl who does not have the shaming that we had growing up. There's okay. this shaming, even when you're being bullied right. by an adult in the name of correction. <clears throat> We lacked the courage to want to speak up. Yeah. This girl spoke up. That's how I saw the video. 
So she had the duty to comport herself the way she wanted to be addressed and still be correcting this girl. This does not show emotional intelligence on the part of an adult. This was not an adult example. So you want to correct a young girl, you could say to her after a while, I know some people will come to me and say, ah, is that your dad not that imam at the mosque? This skirt you're wearing, is it not too short for you? You know, so when, and nobody else would have heard of that correction. Now, those days I would just cover myself in shame back home like that. So if you wanted to call the crowd and I was a shameless child, I want your more so, I would scream, I would scream that is he your dressing? Is he you that? So, is you then, the, the, so, so this, this crowd thing, I want to stick on it. I will we'll still go back to this. This crowd calling is so freaking Nigerian. I'm sorry to use that language. You know, when something happens and both of you just want to have a conversation, so they, come and see, oh, see this town, come, come and see. And then everybody now starts gathering and they now stop. The bike man stops, the bus man stops, the bus stops, and they're coming me. down. And everybody's like, come and see, oh, and I'm thinking, what the heck? It's a shaming This method. happened. Yeah. I'm just trying to, to have a conversation with you. Yeah. No! I don't know. What the heck is wrong with you? So this is the same issue. So the child offended you. And you think by calling the crowd, by making raising your voice, would attract uh, sympathizers, sympathizers <laughs> to the matter. I say, ah, well, no, no. And unfortunately, this is not Nigeria. <laughs> you know, someone's so going to support you in this kind of regard. Thing, there's a proverb that Yorubas say that, um, Agbalak Bawafin Yomode Jenny. It's mm, like it's still wrong. yeah, that it, it's wrong. But that if the the fact that you are an adult is something you use to cheat a child because you can see a child and say, "I'm an adult. I will take your meat. There is nothing you can do about it." That we use adulthood to cheat our children, and we've carried this woman obviously carried that same character to the abroad. So the fact that you are an adult doesn't mean you should cheat the younger one because that young person is an adult as well. And uh, while I'm against her reaction, I feel her reaction shows bad manners, lack exactly. of culture. Mm. But um, that idea of us feeling like I'm an adult, whichever, even if I am a goat, you should respect oh, an mm. older person. Or even, even if you're cheating. Wait, come back. Let me go on a quick break. Let me come back because I know of, I mean, the thing, the thing, taking us back to years now, I know of somebody who got her parents arrested. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, it happened in my presence. Oh, Stay with us and break back. Oh, my God. Stay tuned. Your view. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. 
Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With these bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Yeah, but it's wrong for a child to call you a fool. Absolutely. Why would you raise your hand on someone else's child? It's a trigger. Ah, you cannot be a Nigerian parent. You're an adult. This and on a small age. girl hey, hey. calls you an adult. It triggers. But in Nigeria, you can actually... In fact, in Nigeria, if a child calls you a fool, you can get the whole neighborhood <laughs> to, to pounce on that child. So it triggered her Nigerianness. But I think she would have, um, you know, avoided what happened yeah. from... You know, from the from the moment that girl turned around mm. and started talking to her, she would well, have Miriam, just walked away. I want us away. to focus on: mm. Do you have a right to raise your hand on someone else's child? No, no, child? of course not. Because yes, course, she goofed. Uh, yes, she called you a fool. Me, but I, if someone else's child, they, they, would you they, raise your hand? Somebody, who, somebody who, your, your own child. Listen now, your child is out there doing something. Mm. Maybe she goofed, and somebody now raised your hand to hit no. your child. Okay, so the teenage no, boy. So I don't. Let me put it this way: I believe a child should be corrected. Yeah. I don't believe a child should be beaten, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, the correction, that raising, you know, it's, it's um, when we lose control of ourselves that we raise hands, yep. mm -hmm. that we use skin. We, we, it shows that we've lost control. So, that woman was not behaving like an adult. She has lost control of herself. So she you can't raise hand and go and this one will be quiet. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. quiet so, who is it? Where where so, so, for where me, where I, I would say that you, I, I would have, my first line we would say, not. raise hands, because let's find a way to, if a child is going we would, you better do everything you can to bring, mm -hmm. and I want, if, if you see my child doing something wrong, you better shout. If my child comes to your house and the child is, do, is taking something yeah, they shouldn't correct take, my you child correct the something. child. Yeah, don't say, correct my child, but don't raise your hand. I'm telling yeah. you guys now, <laughs> my children should visit you. If they do anything wrong, correct them, but do not raise your hand at my child. I will okay. not take it. <laughs> but you can correct with words, you can correct with action. Exactly. I have had a friend who, 
she took uh, my daughter and her and her daughter. They went out and she had mm. said to them, don't go outside till I come and pick you. Mm. And she found them playing in the rain and they're supposed to go somewhere. She punished them, brought my daughter back home and took her child back home. Like, you know, I'm very disappointed in both of you. And she told my daughter, my daughter came home sad. I'm so disappointed in both of you. Mm. I said, you should stay here. And you both went out in the rain. And she called me. I said, I'm not taking them there anymore because they mm. did not listen to me. And that thing no, went no, a long no, way. No, I would no, not no. have any woman raise their hands at me because that's the same way this teacher asked a parent if they could cane her three-year-old. She love. said, okay. She also gave permission. Let me, let me and the woman did it what she thought was best, right. you know, right. to right. do. So, let me take this call. i come to you. Hassan, are you there? Thanks for calling. Oh, let's Sorry, have a, go ahead. So there's something that I do. If children are visiting my house and, my, and they all do something wrong, to make an example to that child, because I, don't, I did not get an express permission from their parents to correct that child. I beat my own children in front of those children. For something they did not something do? Called, you beat no, your child for no, something they, they did not they do? did together. Okay. So I single out my own that you, you should know better. I would cane my child in front of that child. Then I would wait for the feedback. I'll tell the parents of that child, because this is what I'll do. This is what happened, both, both of them did. They probably were playing in my house, broke something expensive, and I caned my child, and I sent your own back home. If your comment is, ah, it's okay, that's how you like it, that child will no longer be allowed to play with mine, because the example might just be from there. When my own child is visiting you and does something outrageous, except you did not beat your child, you have to beat all the parties. If you did not beat all the parties and you beat only your own, what you're doing is... What if it's your own child that did the wrong thing? That, that, exactly. Mm, if it's your own child that did so the wrong thing. So if my child did the wrong thing... No, no, if it's her own child that did the wrong thing, that's what I mean. Explain. Your house. If my child did the wrong thing, mm. and you're a parent that I already trust your opinion of the way you're raising your own, I would not mind. Because if it is something I would beat my child about, I will not come and fight you over it. <laughs> this is like, no, that's how I do my own. No. Let me finish. Let me my take... child and I so my your children child. play with a few friends. And they notice now, I will say, ah, no, don't, don't let the children not come. It's because of things like this. Because when I don't beat your child and I beat mine, my child will be wondering what the example is. Mm. Okay, let so me take this call from if Prince. If you're not okay, then maybe they shouldn't play together. Let me, let me take this call from Prince Shola. Are you there? My child, yeah. <laughs> Hello, because Prince Shola. Are you there? <laughs> Hello? Yes, yeah, you're live. Go <laughs> ahead, please. Connect me with uh, Moriah and the lady. Yes. yes, you're speaking to Moriah. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. You're live. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you're lying. Yes. yes, you're lying. Yes, Go ahead, please. Morning, Morara and, the, and the lady. Yes, I'm listening to what you are discussing there with interest. I'm calling from London. Welcome to the show, I sir. I have my family here and I raise my children here. Can I just mention two things quickly, Morara? You see, let us respect our culture. And we know that, yes, we are Africans. I'll give you two examples here. You see, in the 90s, I think I've mentioned this before in this program. I worked in an hospital in the 90s here, yeah, you know. And on the floor of the hospital, we were discussing about issues like this, you know. Thereby, those uh, people, uh, the, the patients in the hospital, they are elderly people. Yeah? It was a geriatric board. They were saying, in the 70s, in this England, people come on the, uh, on the TV like this, on the media, and they were start saying all sorts of things. That is where, why they don't have a culture. They do respect African culture, and they, they are losing it today. Please don't let us lose our culture. A child cannot abuse an elderly person. And I believe the four of you sitting there this morning have talked about this to you before, how you are being corrected and, and how uh, your parents treated you or how they did when you are growing up. I'm not talking about bullying. Please, let us be clear. Bullying is different. A child doesn't have that... Uh, on that city. So be rude. When we were growing up in Nigeria, I grew up, I went to Mifla. I called you before when I said, Tarzula, you beat me with uh, all this cockatla. You guys, you ladies say, ah, listen. It right. makes me who I am today. Thank you very much. Please don't simply address because, yes. um, um, so the, here's the question. Do you need to know someone to respect the person? No. no. So, the, the, you know, that she kept saying again, I don't know you, I don't need to respect you. You're not my mother, you're no. not my parents, I don't need to respect you. Even, even the white of white human beings, even the one that is blue, blue, blue eye, green eye, when you both would not talk like that. You know, and we need to raise our children to, you can speak up for yourself, 
you, they must learn the to level of emotional it. intelligence Respectful. to walk away from a place that mm -hmm. is giving you crisis. Mm -hmm. Anything that is rubbing you wrong, walk away. That lady aggravate the somebody is attacking you. Mm -hmm. You descend to their level the moment you attack the person back. Mm -hmm. What she did was a, an older woman ignorantly was attacking you. You now decided to attack back. You become like you become like hey, that person. Her, but why, why and her language was very very so bad. So, so if we say the adult, wait, if, an, if, if, wait, 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 if you are if you find yourself in relationship with if you see a mad person and the mad person comes to you, mm. do you now attack the mad it? person? Wait wait. wait. Like, like, this is a child and an adult. You are putting the onus so on the child. No no. I'm saying right. if you Wait. face, a, if an adult is behaving like a mad person, you become mad when you, you this fight the adult back. This is an adolescent now. Talk about, this is the age where you show those yeah. excesses. It's the maturity of the, the adult adults. to be able to predict that. Ah, exactly. This I agree. This she excesses. was wrong. Yes. So at the point where you're trying to correct a child, mm -hmm. an adolescent particularly yeah. in secondary school, and the child is not accommodating your approach, you keep quiet and walk okay, away. Wait, oh, if you are lucky to know the parents of the child, you can then sit there and try to get... People, 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 that, the people that, that raised us in the communities that we lived in, that were not parents Let me of give us, you one story. they did more Why? than this. They, went, they took it further. I remember the woman who saw me with the friends I kept. I kept too many male friends growing up. <laughs> and she wasn't comfortable about it. She told my mom about it. She didn't confront me because she thought if you had done that, maybe she would have... I, I came home, my, my mom said, I later met her as an adult. With the way she said her name, I remember the name of the person my mother quoted as saying I was keeping those friends. And immediately I greet till today, I stop every day to right. greet her because she lives in my neighborhood now. So sometimes let the people take it further. She should have walked away from that child we if agree. she could have. But so, don't put the onus of responsibility of example no, on the child. child. Yes, I agree with you. You know, you know in, in my house, I mean, my husband, his modus operandi is the typical Ikiti man, you know, and he raises his voice sometimes. So my kids say something in the car and with their, with their friend, his friend's daughter. Mm -hmm. And he raised his voice. And then my kids are used to, daddy is shouting. <laughs> and the little girl was so traumatized, like, what in the world? She got home and told her dad, this best daddy went crazy. <laughs> like, my kids were normal. When I want to cry, I want to cry. No one here. But she was traumatized. Mm -hmm. she, couldn't, she couldn't stop the fact that he shouted. Because in her own house, her father doesn't shout. <laughs> he talks to her on that level of, you did wrong. This is what she did. And they have that conversation. But well, my house, it is, eh, you did wrong. The whole house is straight taking me. <laughs> so knowing that the way you raise your child, mm -hmm. yourself, your own um, way of raising children is different from the next person. It is, not, it is not your own responsibility to raise another person's child the way you raise yours. Mm -hmm. So if my child comes to your house and your way is to beat my child because I did wrong, in my own house, I don't beat my child. Mm -hmm. So you have no that right to use your own standard so for my own child. Yes. That, and that's what you have. Yeah, but there's so one tell, report what my child did to me. Mm -hmm. And I will now use my own standard then, to, to yes, correct about, that child. Yes, and apart mm. from that, there's also a normal standard for all human beings. The first thing, even before you raise your hands, you talk about mm. it, right? So mm. we're saying that, we're not saying do not correct that child. We're just saying do not take it to the level where you're not hitting the child. Mm. So I would be very upset if I hear that the first thing you did, oh, you did this and pow! That no. wasn't what happened. No, no listen, no. I don't listen, listen to what I'm saying. Mm. And it's not... I was talking to this person and then it escalated. There's a difference. So mm. if my child has come to your house and she's done something wrong, I would like to hear that. I, you know what we even have with my children? Before you tell me, when they get home, they will say, to me, this is what I did. And Gupran's mommy punished me by this, this, this. You know? But if you hit them, they will not even tell you what they did. I went to Gupran's mommy's <laughs> house and she just <laughs> beats me. You know? So tell them what they have done. Well, that's how I've raised my child. Tell them what they have done and tell them why you're punishing mm -hmm. them. And then you tell me as well. And then I'll enforce, you know, further punishment. But by the time you hit my child, then we're not having a conversation about what that child so, did so, so or I, how you hit my child. Okay. Let me go on a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to take some calls and messages. I want to hear from Nigerians on this. Stay with us. We'll be mm -hmm. right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century, speaking advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be.
doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and... Thanks for staying with us. We are still on this matter of how to discipline someone else's child. So we've moved away from the video a bit and now mm -hmm. talk about our own experiences, mm -hmm. what we think is the right approach, especially when your children go to someone else's house and they do something wrong. What's the best approach in how to discipline someone else's child? I have Tolu on the phone here from Ogba. Good morning, Tolu. Are you there? Hello, Tolu. Hello, Tolu, are you there? Okay, I, I, I don't think we have so, that so we have Let's take a few messages. There's Let me read. Sam Olu says, kids abroad are raised to challenge any form of abuse or oppressive behavior that is common in Africa. So if you believe you are 
Af an African parent and you think you deserve respect and can correct any child in public by raising your voice or hand against him or her, they will treat you up. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> black says, yes. Yoruba will say, that mm -hmm. in, this one don't hear, that's mm -hmm. talking about the girl. Carvid, Car Carly David says, you can't go around threatening teenagers that you will beat them and expect respect back. And even in Nigeria, it's the same. Um, um, Hi A says, don't worry, the police will humble her. The, th the <laughs> thing is, I like about it is that the state is against women, so even the parents cannot stop the prosecution. So, talking about where they are, the country they are in. But let me, this is what... Let me, let me even pause you. Let me take Tolu. Tolu is back. Tolu, are you still there? Hello, Tolu, are you there? Go ahead, Neymar. So, uh, um, the Yorubans will say, So, it means that in a public place, there's always an adult guiding. Custodians of the culture. Custodians of, not even just culture, of, of right behavior and morals, as someone to correct all the time. So, this is how I see it. If I must keep your child, you must be comfortable around me and around how I treat my own children, or if I don't have children, about me, something that you know. You don't just take your child up and give to a stranger that you know you're not comfortable about their form of parenting. My nephew was visiting during this last holiday, and the first time they did something wrong, I let it go. This is something I would usually have my children face the wall for. The second time, and then something terrible. I think the third time or so, they just ate left their dishes everywhere, they were watching TV. And when I came, my, children, my daughter was like, we all ate together, it was him, it was, I said, eh, in my own house. So I got my cane, I came to my children, and then I left my nephew. I noticed that they were all looking at him like, eh, so you have special heads. It's not, it's not comfortable, I had to do something right. So the next time I told him, I said, all everybody involved, yeah. including yourself, and I said to him, including yourself, we get a bit, I don't want to know who did what. Mm. You know, so from Let there, take this I said to you know find other alternatives. But you must have a child within your control, your guardianship. You must correct the child. Let me take this call from Blessing. Blessing, are you there? Oh, we lost Sorry, that call. Blessing. I remember. I mean, I grew up with my my, my, my auntie, Ms. Adesha Kong, and she used to spank all of us together. I mean, I think she's the only person that probably just. But she was always careful with me, you know, because it's no one else's child. You don't know how to discipline the person. Yeah, really, but for me, Sha, I was like the only girl in the mix. And there are times where I goof, she will spank me, and then when, I, my mom, when my mom comes back, she tells my mom exactly what she did. It was normal then, mm -hmm. but in today's times, is it still acceptable? Because that's, I mean, I've, shared this, I've shared this story several times, where I traveled to Ajashe, I came back with her, to my bum bum, as an eight-year-old child. I came back, to, so I told my mom, telling my mom, mom, I see my hair. My mom was looking at me, ah, this small girl, because it was my stepmother that the area that we did that hair. And she was looking at me, because she's like, when my dad, so she assumed maybe daddy, daddy approved it. So she was just reluctant, yeah, eight-year-old with long hair. I went to my auntie's house the next day. She just, she just saw the hair. She didn't even ask me any questions. Yeah, just carried scissors and snipped it out, cleaned the lipstick on my lips, and looked at me. Ah, ah. Just, so I, I felt like, ah, what's wrong with this auntie? But mm -hmm. my mother was even happy, yes, thank God someone else did it for her. Yes. So that was then. But if that happens today, Gufra comes to your house so. with long hair, hmm. and you think, and just put a pair of scissors and cut it off. Would you do that today? No, I will no, say no, thank no. you. I will, I will not. <laughs> I would not put a pair of scissors. If she's, she's coming from your house. I mean, she's coming from your house. But, but let's just say, ah. okay, let's use an example. Let's say I'm Gufran's guardian. Mm. So I know I have permission to sort of help her where, where she's Please. not there. Let's say like in secondary school, because sometimes our children go up to the hostels and then they stay with guardians. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll cut the hair off because I'll do the same for my daughter. Yes. I remember growing up when we would use lipstick. My mom would say, you know that pumice stone. Mm. She would make me use it to wash my lips so that I would never try it again. So I understand that. And for me, that sort of, um, that sort of correction works. Where the child understands what they have done, done and the punishment that they are getting. And the, remember the punishment in such a way that would deter them. Oh, you see that beating? I have been beaten by people that were not my parents. <laughs> for a reason that they thought was right. But for, and, and when I... Um, talk to my mom about it, I would expect her to, you know, stand up, you know, pro sort of protect me, like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. And it's like, well, you sort of deserved it. That's, mm. I still remember that, and I remember it with a bit of anger, yeah. like, no, I didn't deserve it. You were not there. You don't know how it happened. Mm. But this person felt that the way they felt at that time, that was what I deserved. You may not have handled it that way. And so that's for me. 
because I know where I'm coming from, I'm trying to stop it for my children. I don't yeah. want people beating my children based on the, their own interpretation of, of what, what the child has done. Mm. I know some people who would see a child with the long hair and immediately call her names. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Heavy names that that's you've never called starts. your child. Yeah, that's how it starts. You look at you, look at how you're dressed. But you may see it and know that this is a child just making a mistake. No. You're not old enough for this yet, but that person now uses those words. And so I have to be careful right. with the Let way me take this call and come other to people talk are raising their Momo, children. Momo, are you there? Now. Hello, Momo. I think our phone lines are having so, issues so this morning. I, Momo, I, are you there? Volume. Let's take some more messages I, I from think YouTube. It, I, I, I think, think that for them, no, it, it is almost impossible for one individual, to, in fact, for a parent to raise a Hang child. In there. I think he's back. Hello, Momo, are you there? I can hear you. Yeah. Go ahead, please. You're live. I can hear you. Um, it's too very, very, um, it's not too good that you keep people online for so long when you are discussing. Yes, I'm here. Oh, seriously. Um, you see, when we're growing up, some of them, my sister here from Aruchi, I'm from Edo as well. When we're growing up, when you, when you do as a child, everybody is meant to correct you. Forget what the kind of system we are living in. That is why the whole world is corrupt. That is why you see a lot of things happening. Because some of the children feel that nobody can correct me. When we are growing up, if you do anything, you you, you dare not do some certain things because everybody 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 has that to correct a child. Because you feel that okay, my child, no, I put my child in the house, and if he or she or he or she does something wrong, and she will see that comfort outside to repeat the same thing outside. So the way we are being treated, the way we are brought up, is the same way people are being brought up these days. We are, we are the children of 70, 60, 70. And now you have the children of 90s uh, and all this race, and you find out that the child is just... So you say, when the children of... Oh, well, the, the line is getting blurred. We can, it's getting muffled. I couldn't hear you very well. But I, I think I got the better gist of what you said. Let me let's up a wrap-up, because I have to move on. So um, I'll say that we have lost communal living. Mm. Everybody is now more... Um, me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. And... While we might question how well the community supported individuals, it helped to have someone else look out for your child. It helped to know that there's some, if anything happens that I'm not available, there's someone that would have my back. I believe that as human beings, as adults, we must learn to control our emotions. We must learn not to resort to physical battery to, to deal with emotional issues that we can resolve verbally. That applies to both the child as well as the adults. I also feel like adults should behave like adults. Children are children, and they might regret their action, but adults are expected to be wise enough yeah, exactly. to know better per time. Whether you are in Nigeria or you are in America, you are allowed to, I believe, you should, I believe in correction, but I believe that we should, it should be done with love, and it should be done in a cordial way so that the message is passed along, okay. not get distracted with we the noise. We have to run. Um, that's all we can take on this segment, but my own is that when you're in the abroad, though, this is your Nigerianness. Tony down. Well, if not, you find yourself in the <laughs> police station. Because I, I have seen it. It has happened to my aunt before. Her daughter got her arrested and she stepped in jail for at least two nights before mm -hmm. everybody gathered around and hung Bella out. So it is real. Just take it easy. Your Nigerianness. When you, when you reach Muntala, turn it down a bit. Don't stop assaulting your children in the name of um, discipline. discipline. That's my own. Mm. Right. All right, let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll bring in a woman we love. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Guys, we can't leave. We've got to finish the client's order tonight. Is that what you're going to say? I'm going to say, I'm going
How we're doing guys is the makeup in progress makeup check are the scripts on the prompter script check are we set in the pcr all team in place pcr check clock is ticking time is racing lights are plans all set 120 minutes of hot entertainment we are ready for the mission How we're doing guys is the makeup in progress makeup check are the scripts on the prompter script check are we set in the pcr all team in place pcr check clock is ticking time is racing lights are plans all set 120 minutes of hot entertainment we are ready for the mission How we're doing guys is the makeup in progress makeup check are the scripts on the prompter script check are we set in the pcr all team in place pcr check clock is ticking time is racing lights are plans all set 120 minutes of hot entertainment we are ready for the mission How we're doing guys is the makeup in progress makeup check are the scripts on the prompter script check are we set in the pcr all team in place pcr check clock is ticking time is racing lights are plans all set 120 minutes of hot entertainment we are ready for the mission How we're doing guys is the makeup in progress makeup check are the scripts on the prompter script Thanks for staying with us. So you, many of you know on Wednesdays we like to celebrate women that we love. So our guest today is a certified environmental consultant and she has garnered experience in various fields of chemical engineering and management. Today, she's the MD CEO of BAMSAT Nigeria Limited, as well as the managing partner of BAMSAT Engineering Services Limited. Both companies are involved in environmental consultancy, fire safety, and civil mechan mechanical engineering services, respectively. Welcome with us, engineer Margaret Aino Oguntala. Welcome to the show, Thank also you. known as the Erelu of NSC. What's NSC? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Nigerian Society, Society of Engineers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nigerian Society of Engineers. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Good to have you on the show. It's actually very nice to be here. <laughs> I mean, like, like I said earlier, to see you girls live, <laughs> you know, Thank outside, you. I mean, outside the outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we hear you're a grandmother. I am. Oh, yeah. A and, proud one. Oh, so. fantastic. <laughs> right, so before you came in, we were talking about disciplining children. I'd like to hear your thoughts before we go into your career and what you've done. Like, would you allow somebody else to um, discipline your child? And how far would you let that person go in correcting your child? Oh, well... Actually, the job of um, bringing up children in the past used to be the job of everybody around. Yeah. And that's why at, at the time we had children living with their parents and, the, and, and um, family. Uh, family, you know, extended family at that. But these days, it's, it's a bit different. But for me, I, I still believe that discipline of children, I mean, disciplining children is where we start from. You have to start to tell the child what to do from the cradle. And I wouldn't mind my friend disciplining my child. I, it's, I think whatever you can do for your child, mm -hmm. you, should, you should be able to do with mine. Right. I would trust my friend normally. I know, I know, I know the kind of people that, I, that are my friends. Right. So they are normally people that I trust. And I expect them to also trust me with their children. Mm -hmm. If you can't trust me with your child, then there's no point mm -hmm. 
having yeah. your child run with mine. Okay, so, interesting. Yes. Now, going to a career as an engineer, I mean, and I know that being in this um, Nigerian Society of Engineers is not an easy thing, especially as a woman, you know. Um, I'd like you to give us in a, a, a small recap of your career, um, the ups and downs, the highlights, those things that you had to succumb to get to where you are today. Um, thank you. Um, well, um, engineering is a, is a career that I went into because of the fact that uh, I felt more comfortable with calculations. Okay. You know, my father wanted me to be, become a medical doctor, but <laughs> I just couldn't stand biology and all right. those. Um, so, so, yes, and all that. So, and the chloroform and okay. all that. So, so, but, I, but with engineering, I was, I mean, with mathematics, additional mathematics, I was more comfortable. And, uh, and so that's how I came into engineering. And, and I chose chemical engineering. I was actually admitted for civil engineering, but I also didn't like drawing. Mm. So, <laughs> so I chose chemical engineering. And that's why I'm a chemical engineer. And I practiced for 35 years now. Wow. So um, I graduated in 1986. I went to the University of oh. Benin. So, um, and I've had a life of movement. So I also understand that as an engineer, I see things, you know, I also I saw things growing up mm. that intrigued me, that made me want to also uh, participate and um, and how do I would contribute to yeah. those things? When I, I remember the first time I saw a bridge, I was I was so amazed. <laughs> I was like, ah no! So who are the people that build bridges? And mm. I was told civil engineers. Ah, I want to be a civil engineer. You know mm. that kind of thing. But but then I couldn't go with drawing. So and then again, um, I had a, a cousin who worked in the oil and gas. Mm. So and I liked the, what he was doing. You know, going to the rig and stuff. So. I, I chose, that's why I now said, okay, since I couldn't, I didn't like drawing, mm. I should do, go for it. But it's always been smooth. Did they just allow you to come <laughs> in as a woman? Yeah, was it very it, smooth? Yes, it wasn't difficult at all. Oh, wow. It, it wasn't difficult at all. It's, I, I mean, I got admitted and I was treated the same way as the boys. Oh, wow. But the boys were actually kind of compassionate with us. Were, you know, they will, when we had practicals, like in welding and stuff, they would normally say, okay, Meg, you know, let me do this for you, you know. <laughs> so instead of, kind of rebuffing us, they, they, they oh. pampered us. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, so. in university, I used to think that engineering students were the coolest. The guys were cool, but mm. the girls especially were so cool. I'm like, look at them just doing, you know, real stuff, yes. you know? <laughs> but I also know that at the time, well, even you know, your time much earlier than mine, they, we didn't have so many female engineering students. Yes. So I'm wondering, at, during your time, is it a situation of we used to have a lot more then, but over a period it reduced, or that you're seeing more women going into engineering? And how would you say that you being an engineer has helped other women to pursue engineering? engineering. Okay, thank you. Well, in my days, um, there weren't so many girls. In my class of 44, and we had the highest in my year, mm. in my set, we were 10. And that was a lot. In the whole of the faculty at the time, we were like 12 wow. or 13. And, and so that was, that was very little. But last year, I was on an accreditation uh, visit to a university as a mem member of the Council of the uh, Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria. And I saw girls. I, I was impressed. More girls. Wow. In fact, there was a particular class that had more girls than boys. Oh, wow. And the girls are doing so well. Wow. So um, I, I think my going into engineering has helped other girls to study engineering yeah. because I've been able over time but through the grace of God to act as a role model for many of them. Mm. Yeah. And I also do try to mentor them. I try to Fantastic. talk to them, tell them that engineering is for girls too. And then when they see you, like today now, I'm sure a lot of young girls will say, okay, I want to become an engineer. <laughs> You know, that kind of yeah, thing. It's so, okay. so you, um, you, when you were explaining your journey, how you started, you mentioned how you were exposed to different industries and how you saw the possibilities and you, you were interested in pursuing um, different career paths before you settled on what you had the skill to. Mm -hmm. The conversation, you just had it like it was a casual thing. Many people don't have that same thoughts when they are considering what to do in school. It's not based on, I met this engineer. How would you think... Um, your exposure to engineers early in life influenced you following that path, and how can we increase more exposure like that to encourage young people to go into STEM? Okay. Um, yes, thank you. I, I like the STEM mm -hmm. that you have brought into it. Well, um, like I said earlier, seeing engineers helped me, helped my decision, and having one or two in, in the family, mm. particularly those who were, and, and many of them were doing well. 
mean, mm. these days they say engineers are not doing well, but really, the engineer is trained by training. He is trained to do well because he can do a lot of things. So, um, what we need to do now, and we have been doing a lot of that, especially the Association of Professional Women Engineers of Nigeria, we take the campaign to from primary school, mm. encouraging them, telling them that um, engineering is a thing of the mind. I mean, it's it's a it's a career that has to do with the brain. You know, it's your intellect. It's not physical. It's not as physical as some may want to 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 look at it. It's, it's just what you can do with your brain, you know, and all of that. So we go to primary schools, secondary schools, right. do career talk, right. try to right. encourage them and bring more girls into, into the system. Fantastic. Go ahead, yes. Nima. Okay, so um, there's a comment for you on YouTube. Dania Ayo says, I remember her. Her daughter and I were mates in QC. Mm. <laughs> well done, ma. And she says that you were in the forefront of their PTA. So that brings me to, you know, the... the job that you as a member of the NSE yes. or the NSE as a group can do. For instance, we had the Koi collapse. Yes. Is it possible that, you know, as a group, the a group of engineers could have done something to avert? If, or is there a punishment that you can give to your members who were involved in the decision making of how the structure was drawn, how it was executed? Is there, is there that role that you right. can play? Okay. in limiting things like that from happening? Yes, of course. We have, apart from the Nigerian Society of Engineers, which is just an ad association of all, the body of all the engineers in Nigeria, we do have a regulatory body, which is um, the Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, CORIN. And uh, incidentally, I'm a member of the council representing the Southwest Geopolitical Zone. The Nigerian Society of Engineers has um, means of disciplining members who air in areas like this, mm -hmm. particularly for this, this enormous or great calamity. Mm -hmm. But even from the littlest, the smallest thing, once you, we have our ethics and codes of practice, and once you err in any way, we, there are ways of punishing people. People, some, some members, members stand to be uh, suspended from the Nigerian Society of Engineers, and then current has, by, the, by its powers, has the power to actually prosecute mm -hmm. members who err. Uh, recently, we have, recent, we have a, a tribunal, you know, in Korean, and recently two engineers were tried you know, for, um, uh, for mis professional misconduct. And just their licenses were suspended, wow. each one, for six months. So what, what we do with this kind of thing, we have engineering regula uh, regulation and monitoring of projects. We have people who go to projects to monitor. Right. And if it is discovered that our members are involved in any of such deals or any of such practices or failed projects, we have a way of dealing with them. Right. We set up investigation and if the a panel and if we find, them, find it necessary, we take them to the tribunal. All right, let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Are you okay? Woman? Stay tuned. Your view. I want to go back. 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 I want to I I want 
ti won ba ku tojo ku won o ti pe won a pa ko da si pobirin ti da o yi kan se o ko ni se ri mi ka jo foju koju yi ko ye mi o bo se pe ri e bleku ba aya mi si so ki tori kini a ko yi ko mo pidere bleku mo yo mo mu yan di flashback jo yi ki yo mo tun mo gbo mo TVC Communications were all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom built state of the art news headquarters. TVC, the top rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, our award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and Hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a... We have engineer uh, Margaret Oguntala with us. So, let me ask you about marriage and career. Because um, this always kind of... It's like a spanner that just throws in the wheel, you know. A young girl is an engineer, doing all this great stuff, you know, trying to be this person. And suddenly marriage shows up and you're like, ah, okay, I have to slow down. Children are coming. This is happening. How did that happen in your own regard? How did you... Marry marriage in to your career and what you're doing. <laughs> I like the way you put that marry marriage <laughs> into my career. Well, um, fortunate, I'll start by saying that I, I, I've been fortunate. I met my husband before I left school, I was doing my industrial attachment and worry at the time. So he's an engineer, he's a chemical engineer as well. So um, there's, this, there's been this understanding from the beginning. Okay. He knew that he was marrying an engineer, which is different from, and he, know, he knows what it takes to be an engineer. Right. So he knew what he was going into. Right. So that made it kind of, I had a soft landing. But then, um, as a woman, you know, and, and an African woman, there are a few things that you must learn to do. I mean, to, in marriage, you must learn to take care of the home first. And so growing, growing up, you know, I, I was able to, so in the beginning, it was not too difficult. But at, at some point, I almost kind of left my career by one side and concentrated more on the home. Really I, really it was really. like taking some time off yes. you know, until my children were a bit older. And that's why I was able to participate in PTA, mm. you know, all the PTA. In one of them, I was chairman. Hmm. So, and then I later found that I could, there were things that I could do within my career, within my profession, that would not take so much of my time. So I, that, that's why I also didn't work for government or any enterprise for too long. So I started my own small company. I started by selling industrial chemicals, which is all part of chemical engineering in any way. So I started by selling industrial chemicals, then looking for, I mean, doing uh, feasibility studies, 
know, and then environmental consultancy. And then all those things I could still do. Mm. Within, my time was flexible. So I've been lucky. Mm. But, I, but how did you switch? Because when, when, when some of us enter that space of, okay, let me just put career aside, let me focus on my children, yes. it, we find it difficult to go back because we feel like we've lost touch with the system. How did you go back? That's because I didn't really leave Believe, completely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I started my own company, yeah. Ramsar Nigeria Limited. So I started doing, I, I was still doing things that were relevant to chemical engineering. Yeah. So I didn't point. leave entirely. Right. But so if, if you do have to leave, it's, it's, um, at, at some point, you, you ease yourself back into, into the profession. Okay, yeah. I so think that's, really, that's the way. Um, like you said, you were, you were a bit on the lucky side, and mm -hmm. I'm, we're happy for you. I want to ask you about the role of society. Um, the NSC, yes. because Nigeria, there are many society for this one, society for that one, community of this one, associations that seem to just be a forum for making money for members of the ESCOs in the association mm -hmm. and not really adding value to that industry. How would you say that NSC has benefited you professionally and what would be the advantage for women watching that probably want to be more influential in engineering? Would they get any benefit from being a member of NSC? Well, the Nigerian Society of Engineers has, uh, as one of its objectives, the welfare of its members. Mm. So it's, um, for me, in fact, I would say that I'm a better person for being a member of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. I've had a lot of opportunities. I've been exposed to various opportunities it is just by being a member of the NSC. But then it's not just enough, it's not enough to, be, to just okay. be a member. You must participate. You must mm. be ready to volunteer your time. And I've done a lot, of, a lot of that over the years. But I've also had a lot of goodwill come my way by I virtue of being yeah. a member of NSC. So, uh, I mean, it, by, in serving, by serving the NSC, you get to meet people, you get to mm. network with people, and then you get things. Things will come your way. Right. And you don't necessarily have to look for the money. The money mm. will come, mm. you know, through networking and goodwill. The yeah. money will eventually come. Yeah, and as for the earth goes, making money, really, I, I don't think it is that easy. People have that perception. Even mm. now, when you are going for elective position in NSC, some people, some people have asked me before. Somebody has told me before that I should pay for his accommodation. And I asked him why. Is there consistency? He told me that, no, you are going to be closer to Asso Rock. You are going to say, uh. why? I was chairman of Ikeja branch for two years. I had, in fact, three years. I had access to Alausa and the governor, but I never got any, any, I never made any, any, any money yeah, from that. But okay. I also was exposed to, yeah. you know, opportunities. Yeah. Talking about elections and being a woman, I see that you have been a three-term vice president of the um, Nigerian Society for Engineers. And I'm wondering sometimes when it comes to women, do they just give us that vice president, <laughs> assistant, deputy, deputy governor, treasurer. secretary, treasurer. What's happening? Why can't we be president? You know, what's happening? Is that the case with you? Is it a gender thing or is it <laughs> that we're not putting in as much work as our male counterparts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, they, they don't really give us any particular role. What we do is well, we, we participate as much as the men and earn the roles. Uh, I started from the Ikeda branch of Nigerian Society of Engineers and I grew through the ranks from treasurer to ex officio then eventually to chairman. And I, I, I made a very good impact to the glory of God. And by the time I was ready to go to the national, it was easier for me. Mm. So, but then, because we are women, and we, are, we, are, we, are, we have a less number than the men. It's mm -hmm. not as easy for us as the men. But then, those for women who have made their marks, it's not too difficult. However, um, we, up till now, like you said, I mean, and I don't think it's a gender thing. I think it's just something that we women need to work more It's just about, for. Is it about confidence? They no, have no, women having confidence in us to run, to, to run for... I, I don't think so. We've had women run for the highest office before. The first, I mean, as early as 2001, we had a woman who contested for the post of deputy president. And the deputy president automatically becomes president after two years. So we've had women run before. I contested in 2017 for mm. that post position. Yeah. But the, the, the thing is that, you see, because, like, like I said, we don't have as many women mm. as we have Numbers. men. 
the number. number and yeah. politics they say it's a, it's a game of numbers so i think that is the basic right. thing but as for the confidence the female engineers have okay. all that it you know when you mentioned the word this is a different gist i'm sorry i have to add this because I, I forgot to just read this about it this mm -hmm. gender thing i went and i'm going to mention the place i went to mm -hmm. the robot tennis club <laughs> i was there on friday or something there was someone who was speaking i think the one who someone was speaking there anyway so when it was time for q and e the, the MC he said, okay, let's take questions. I'm going to take three questions from here and three questions from here. Okay, here you are number one, two, three, four. And me, I raised my finger. He now said, hey, and the gender over there will pick that one, the gender. Excuse me. Wow. That's what they call so the gender. I'm saying. And I kept saying, okay, after the first, second, and third of the two, the fifth person thing, hey, so where's the gender that I wanted? Wow. And, I, kept, and I, I really, I stood up and I'm thinking, gender. I kept saying, ah. It may What's not be gender. gender. <laughs> and I stood up. And I walked there. Say, hey, so the gender is coming. Let the gender is <laughs> hey, I just said, you know what? No, 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 thank you. Yeah. I just went right back to say, and I, 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 you can't just call me gender. I mean, I, I mentioned I'm, I'm calling them, but I'm not calling them. Out, but mm -hmm. my, my father was a member of Yuba Tennis Club, so I, I shouldn't be calling them. Out, but I was just really shocked to be categorized as gender. Is that person, calling out I, just I, correction? Is not I think they were, the trying to say, they were trying to say that, okay, let the, the gender... The opportunity, opportunity, let's, opportunity, let's yes. one female, let's have one female. Thing, just one yes. female, you not just call me gender like anyway. that's one over six anyway. Yes, one over six. That's not equal, which is not equal. Though. Anyway, let me come to Nima. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll forgot to that comment. Yo, people, engineers are here. I've seen <laughs> a video of Kayo Kweta. I know she's an engineer. She's a fan of the show. Okay. Um, Don Antonio says, if our engineers are doing well, why then are our government always looking for that for expatriates mm. here and there? Good question. Although Joker has said him as an engineer. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, I, I actually, the engineers are doing well. We, we know that. We, engineers compare, I mean, compete very favorably with their counterparts all over the world. Uh, there are lots of feats, you know, that are being done by engineers all over, from within here and outside. And the reason why government does not patronize us has nothing to do with whether we are good enough or not. We are competent. But... That it's, I think it's a political thing. I would say it's more political than anything else. Mm -hmm. It's the, because of the fact that, you know, in the past, and then the mindset of people, mm -hmm. you know how people will feel this is, this, this, this mug, you know, if it's imported, it's better. Mm -hmm. You know, the people. That, exactly. So it's the mindset mentality. of the people too. You know, you would rather buy an imported thing than, like, she than she a local thing. Like, so, 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 so it's the same. I don't completely yeah. agree with you. That's the that's that's mentality. It's the mentality, mentality that makes it. It's not mentality. It's beyond mentality. Anyway, it's, it's, it's what you finish. Engineer of Utala, let me ask you this question. Yes, it's not. Let me ask you this question. Yes. Let me ask you this question. Yes. Ted Milan Fridge. <laughs> Somebody who did a video that the bridge was opening up. It was overlapping. And we saw the video with our own eyes. Just Otherwise. for them to come and respond re re from the Ministry of Works. But no, it's safe. Keep driving. You're okay. I'm like, ah, sorry. Explain to us why it is okay. I mean, mm. give us something more detailed than it's okay. It's safe to drive. Video, give us something safe. This is what happens as an engineer. So as an engineer, tell me, is Terminal Bridge safe? Do you know about the overlapping? <laughs> and do you think it's safe for us to drive on? Mm. There, there are points that are joint there yes, now. Yes. So what the video, you know what this social media does now? Somebody will just go there and put the video very close to the yes, overlapping or, yes. the, or the joint yes. and tell you that, ah, it's not safe, it's opening. But the, we have... We Should have joints move? Wait, yeah, go ahead. No, the, that's another... Done? Yes, they, it, it overlaps. Yeah, yeah. So the, the thing is that if the, if the Ministry of Work says it is safe, the, the Ministry of Work has engineers there. We have structural engineers with, who work with the Ministry of Work, and we, we trust them. The Ministry of Work is, head, is headed by a very sound engineer. Uh, engineer, the, the SA works, the engineer Aram is yeah. very sound, experienced and everything. And if she comes and tells you that it's safe, then you should believe her. Okay. You don't need to... No any problem. So let me, let me take to you back that. to the question that mm -hmm. came from social media. And why some of... And, and I've posed this question on the show as well, that we have so many local problems that we are seeking international solutions to those problems. And we have loads of engineers. We still have power issues not resolved. We have loads of civil engineers and we don't have good roads in the country. Is it that it is impossible for us to do good roads that will last 10 years, 15 years? Because it's seeming that they do road now, in the next few months, is bad. The Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the side that they have done is already going bad. Yeah. So what do you think is the gap? What is the issue that we are not... And is it that we're not using our hands? or we're, we're, What is we that the problem? Mm. Hmm. Again, I'll tell you that it's more political. Mm. This is the reason. The reason is this. And then, of course, I was, there's also an issue. You see, 
The Julius Berger of this world, they all started small too, mm. but they had the support of their government. The CCCC uh, or one of those, CCCC, they had the support of their government. The Nigerian engineer needs the support of its government. We have engineers coming together. Engineers in Nigeria can also come together and be, become as big, <laughs> collaborate and become as big as Julius Berger. But do we have the enabling environment? Do we have the encouragement? Do we mm. have, you know, in China they have the, um, the um, industry, you can, you, can, you can take a loan, right. you know, from the industry, construction loan, sort mm. of. And then you pay back, you know, at, your, at a very good right. interest and all of that, so you can do jobs. Here, you, you, get, you get a job, and then you get, you get, you get, you get paid halfway, or whatever the budget, they tell you that the money is the, the money, the budgetary uh, allocation for that job is not even enough to do the job. job wow! Too. So, so what happens? Yeah. So, so the, that's why we have factors. a lot of we have a lot of investment. We have a lot of projects that are that are unfinished. Mm -hmm. We have right. a lot of ele white elephant projects as we put them yeah. because they don't make Let enough. Let me take a quick question. Raymond Olaoluwa says, "Hello, ma. What is NSC's plan on monitoring of engineering company procedures in recruiting?" and training graduate engineers because mm. most indigenous engineering companies only recruit fresh graduates and assign projects to them without training them on their code of conduct. Wow. Well, the Nigerian Society of Engineers does a lot in that regard. The, what that person needs to do is to, because a lot of people, we, we can't, you won't know people unless they belong to your group. Mm -hmm. So I think, for instance, in the Nigerian Society of, Society of Engineers, the Kedja branch, where I belong, we have programs for young engineers. So in terms, you know, for, for well, developing well, programs, do you, do you, programs do you develop control, them. Do you regulate company members? Companies, um, uh, members. members yes. yes. That, you know, that on their methods of recruiting and their training for, for fresh Methods graduates. of recruiting and training is, is internal. It, it's internal. Those, those are internal, really. We, what, the only thing we can do is to help our members develop. And by organizing courses yes. and uh, making them employable mm -hmm. and helping them develop where, even when they are employed. Mm -hmm. But within the, the companies, NSC. Let me quickly throw in this last that. question. Still within the engineering space, we know that many of our um, con con companies in Nigeria that are foreign owned must have local partnership. Yes. And there are lots of complaints that a lot of companies that get contracts within Nigeria employ. Um, their staff, their key staff come from their own country. What is NSC doing to improve more local engineers being employed by foreign companies Come within in. Nigeria? Uh, actually, the, you, you know about the Executive Order 5, which mm -hmm. actually also empowers the Nigerian engineer, mm -hmm. about the, especially dealing no with content. the Nigerian content. Mm -hmm. There is a certain percentage of um, Nigerians that must be in the employ of every mm. foreign company. Mm -hmm. And then even the level. And Korean is doing a lot in that regard mm. to ensure that we don't just, they don't just take engineers at the lower level mm. and then put their own people as, at the top. because whoever is at the top is the one who really determines the, the success yeah. and the, uh, of, of the project. We have to wrap up. Any final words? Because, you know, one of the reasons I brought you here is because we admire your career, what you're doing. We're happy that a woman in Jena is, is up there and yes. lots of young people are trying to aspire to be like you. So find out what's for young people watching you today. Well, I, I would say that um, wherever you find yourself, try to excel, you know, in whatever you do. Because it is what you do that will determine what responsibilities will be given to you. And it's only when you have the opportunity for bigger opportunities that you can showcase yourself. Right. And that means you must continually develop yourself, skill up. Up, remain, continue to reskill, you know, mm. continue to develop yourself and to the point where you can occupy any space, particularly yeah. the leadership space, That's because it. it's not meant for any particular person. We mm. all should aspire. And from the day you start, you should aspire for that highest position. Fantastic. We wish you all the best Thank in you. all your endeavors. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you, Mariah. That's all we can take until we're speaking with engineer Margaret Aino Guntara, who is probably known as Irelu of NSC. Irelu, guys. <laughs> Have a lovely day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>